When working with React, it's easy to accidentally use stale state or a state value that is no longer the most recent version of that state. And this leads to unexpected bugs, especially in asynchronous functions or consecutive set state calls. So to demonstrate, check out this code right here, where these two set count calls both use the same value of count. And this is because state updates with set count are asynchronous and batched, meaning both lines capture the same value of count before either update happens. So what this means is we would expect this when we click this button, which calls this function, we would expect our count state to increment by two, but if we click it, instead, we can see it's only incrementing by one. And the reason for this is because we're using count plus one and count plus one, where in this render, in this call of this function, the value of count is the same. So it's zero here and it's zero here. At least it's zero on the first function call. So a way we can fix this is by using the functional form of set state, which ensures that each update receives the latest version of state, even if multiple updates happen in the same render cycle. So this form right here that we're using is called direct form, but React provides us with another form, which is called the functional form. And you can tell it's because we're provided with a function. And so what it does is it takes the current state and then works with that. So now if we do increment twice, if we do increment by two, notice how it's going up by two each time as opposed to one. And this is because this value right here, which goes into this function, will be the current value of the state at the time this function is called. And another way we can visualize working with stale state is working with asynchronous updates. So in other words, working with stale state can happen when you try and update state inside an async function. And so I'm gonna use the classic set timeout example for this. And notice here, so say I click this button really fast. So I've clicked it about 20 times all it did was increment it once. So we just went up to two. And if I do it again, so I click this really quick, it just went up to three or then four, even though we're expecting this set count to be called as many times as we click the function. So what's going on here is we have set count inside set timeout. And that means that it's captured at the time of the function call, not when the timeout actually fires. So this means that if the user clicks a button multiple times quickly, only the initial count gets used, which then leads to incorrect updates. And once again, we can fix this by using the functional form instead of the direct form. So now we do this. And now let's say I click this really quickly. You can see how it keeps going up, even if it's being called asynchronously. So basically the functional form guarantees the latest count is used even after asynchronous operations. I wanna thank you for liking and subscribing. Check out my courses and software in the description. Take it easy.